Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark. Now, for some reason, we are still really cold. And uh, I don't really know why. So we have frostbite risk and sprain so risk only because... Kill me. Oh, shut up. Only because we're like a little bit heavy. Uh, but what we can do is just keep on keeping on. We have to find some food and some water. So let's go down here and see what we can do. Since we do have a can opener, we might as well eat the bad stuff first. Might as well. And hopefully, we don't die. Alright, so that helped out quite a bit. Now, the water is going to go down because, uh, well, that was salty. Don't know who can just eat maple syrup just like that, but like I said, you never know. Canadian people, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm only doing that because uh, Mr. Allen is from Canada. And uh, I love picking on him because uh, he picks on me. So I'm trying to give it back. Uh, but anyway, so that helped out a little bit. Okay, so we're not crouched down, but we was. But anyway, we do have the revolver. So we do have a little bit of protection. And like I said in the last episode, as soon as you give me a pistol or a rifle, I feel like I'm invincible and then I die. So hopefully that won't happen. And hopefully this isn't too dark for you guys. Uh, what is that? A magnifying glass. Missed that one in the last episode because I wasn't really looking for it. But uh, yeah, so we could have a fire. I mean, we are warm at the moment, but we don't want to push our luck too much. Uh, the only real way to get going anywhere is to get the hell out of where we are. Uh, because we don't have a pot, the recycled can will help out with um, a water scenario. Uh, what time is it? It is eh, 10 o'clock in the morning or so. Do we have a knife? I don't remember. Yes, we have a knife. And we have three empty cans. Um, because of weight restrictions, we'll just have one. It's not the greatest, but it's fine. Can I do anything with this? No, you can't. Well, that kind of sucks. Uh, don't really need the hacksaw until you start making, you know, arrowheads or whatever. Uh, but what's really good about this game is that the faster you can find a base, you know, like, uh, like we're on Coastal Highway, which we have to go through to get back in where we're going. Um... Actually, I think we got to go for another musk egg. I think we're on the wrong side of the track. But anyway, besides this point. Oh, I think he's right there. Okay, so I, th I, I think he... Yeah, he, he's running away. He, uh, he gave up his... His stuff. Um, let's see. I feel like there's a rope somewhere we can get down. I do believe, but I do have to find it first. There is a little shed thing that we can look at. Oh, shut up. What? Where are you at? I have a pistol. Not afraid to use it. Oh, there you are. So that's what I do. Oh, hello. So then he's going to run away like a little little baby. But that's fine. Uh, the moose is still over there. That's actually really good to know where the moose is. Because if you get one moose, you have a royal crap ton of meat. Just like a bear. If you kill a bear, you have like 100 and some odd pounds of meat. Oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, so in the previous videos, I've said that my allergies are absolutely crazy, and they are. Uh, and that is because everybody is hand and everything else at the moment, and it's... Okay, oh, there he is. Oh, he's going to come into us. Well, he's gonna die eventually. I got a good shot on him, but the rabbit here—too heavy. Oh, shut up! It's a rabbit. 
So the rabbit there, we can actually use uh, for uh, rabbit mittens. I think you need like four of them. But anyway, the moose, I'm not even going to attempt to take him down with the pistol because we won't get nowhere. So because of that, we're just going to leave him be. And there's only one way to get out of here that I know of. And that is basically the same way we come in. So we have to go back to the, the house there or the, the building or whatever. Uh, there's nothing over there. Not that I remember. But we have to... Oh, I saw that tree and I thought it was a ghost or something. Gee whiz. You know, it wouldn't surprise me. This game is a fantastic horror, horror game. Just because of the fact of uh, you're alone. And the only scary things that are on the game is wolves and death. So let that sink in there. But other than that, you know, pretty fun game. Uh, but yeah, the only... To get back to where I want to be, Mystery Lake is almost in smack dab middle of the whole game. Or the whole world, I guess you could say. So, Mystery Lake is a fantastic place to put a main camp. Normally, I try to put it in the camp office, which if we do get there, I will show you where that is. And then as soon as we get there, we'll probably shack up there, uh, explore Mystery Lake, uh, get all the fun stuff in Mystery Lake. Hopefully, we can find a rifle. Okay. Oh, pick up these, because you never know when we might go to Blake Inlet to re uh, reload them. We are super cold already. Get two two wolves. Oh, only two this time. Normally there's a bear that walks on this little lake here. Yep, here he goes. Sometimes they still attack you when you shoot them like that. Oh, there's a deer. The deer won't hurt you. But uh, it's still scary when they run into you. You also need a rifle to kill the deer, too. And you have to hit them just right. Uh, if you hit them just right, they'll fall in instantly. But if you don't, then you'll have to go searching for them. Oh, you'll be fine. We were cold like this earlier. Uh, I didn't actually, I didn't do anything to uh, get warmed up. I didn't fix any of the clothes or anything either. So that's probably why he's complaining a little bit. Oh, hello. When you find the rabbits, normally I try to throw stones at them to, to stun them or whatever, and then you break their neck when you pick them up. But uh, the stones are really hard to throw, and it, it's really hard to figure out where to throw them at, you know. I heard something over there, but oh well. But like as you can tell, you know, uh, the pistol will kill a wolf if you smack them right in the head. Normally, like, the, the longer you can wait, and, and the wolf runs up to you, and then you smack him in the head, the better. But It's nerve-wracking when you do that. Not gonna lie. So hopefully we'll warm up in here before we leave out of here. Because it's a, it's, a, it's a ways. But while we're getting warmed up here, what we can do is... Here, let's see. Repairs at 69. Let's actually get something worse. 93, 80... What is these at? Uh, these really need repaired. All right, repair them. Ah, oh, shit. This is what normally... Really? Thank you, finally. <sighs> Jeez. Oh, well. At least they're at 50%. Anything else that's terrible? Socks are pretty bad, so let's repair that. And uh, you can get cloth from blankets, you know, everything. Uh, it's at, cloth is pretty, actually pretty, seriously, pretty easy to come by. Uh, like here, you can get cloth from that, so on and so forth. Cardboard box, that's good for a tinder plug to start a fire. Do we have any matches? I don't think we have any matches. Oh yeah, we have eight. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot we got matches. Most of the time, matches are, like, more abundant. I never searched these lockers. What's wrong with me? 
Not like there's going to be anything useful in them. A book. A book is a fantastic thing to start a fire with. Oh. Sweet. There's going to be way better. Not fantastic on the... Uh, on everything aspect of it. Did I search this guy? Yeah. So I searched everything. Except I'm gonna have to leave something behind. The lockers. Okay, so here, let's actually do this. What one's better? I know those ain't good at nothing. That one's warmer, but this one has more wind protection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shred these. And then use the leather to fix up the other thing. We'll shred that too. Honestly, I'm just basically wasting time until we have to go to bed. And then we actually need to start a fire real soon to get water too. We have a few sodas and whatnot to keep us, you know, keep us well, but we're going to have to, what? Oh, we don't have cloth. Well, great. Okay, so because it's dark now, we're gonna. We're, oh, come on. We're gonna go to sleep. Hopefully, we can just. Oh. Four hours will do about good. And the only way to save this game is actually to go to sleep. Or pass time or anything like that. It's one of the more weirder things. But hopefully, we'll get rid of the frostbite. We've only been living for like a day, so. The fact that we got a, a pistol and everything else. Let's see. So we still got a few more hours. I need to drink and eat something right quick. That rabbit is at 90%. So that's actually not bad. Huh. Interesting. So we could do that. But honestly, I think what we're going to do. Just leave it in there for a while. This is going to take down our water apparently so is the saltine crackers but they're 600 calories so it's kind of a a risk that you have to do the tomato soup will, will help out also with the thirst oh so because of that that is what we're gonna just what we're gonna do because you got to be full and you also get, can't be thirsty either so what i like to do is basically just pass time until about then, and then past about three hours or so, you will wake up. But watch out when you're sleeping, because when you go to sleep, you can wake up and die. I've done it. I've done it. Okay, so it's super dark. It's dark for me too, don't worry. We're going to get an early, early departure so we can get out of here. Just making sure I checked all of this stuff. The next one, I think, is Forlorn Muskeg, in which we will probably die there. Because you have to run straight through the middle of it. There's nothing in Forlorn Muskeg. Look at that. I mean, come on. We, we got it. Okay, go away. Boom. Just like that. Actually, while I'm here. I think I said this in the last episode. Audio. No, where's the uh, display, maybe? Subtitles. Closed captioning. On. Off. There we go. In my long, dark, uh, my bleak inlet video, this said uh, moderately breathing, and I couldn't couldn't figure out how to turn it off. Well, I forgot that I turned the subtitles on. Apparently I checked that, but I don't remember checking that. But yeah, so I turned it on. And then they were making fun of me. So, uh, yeah, now it's off, so now we won't see moderately breathing. Moderate breathing, quick breathing, quiet breathing, so on and so forth. But, uh, anyway, besides the point, this is, oh, son of a bitch. This is Broken Railroad at its finest. Just take a pop shot at him. That's basically what you got to do. Oh, there's another one. Okay, as long as you don't attack me, that's fine. But anyway, so, this morning and last night, we actually watched a movie, me and my gal did. I know, I know, it's crazy, it's crazy. But anyway, yeah, we watched a movie, and it's called, uh, 
It was called Raya and the Last Dragon. It's a Disney movie. And uh, it was weird. I mean, I'll grant you that. But it was all right, you know. It wasn't a, a terrible movie. It just, it was just weird. Oh, that's a long. I thought it was a dead person. And, uh, but yeah, you know, I won't tell you too much. But if you want to, you know, uh, a movie that will make you think about some things, you know, um, watch Raya and the Last Dragon. Basically, it's about, you know, it's this, this the world and... Oh, Lord. But yeah, so it's about dragons and whatnot in, in this world. Well, eventually, there was no trust in the world. And then the this demon thing comes in and... It's very... Son of a bitch, leave me alone. But it was very weird for a Disney movie, especially. And, uh... But yeah, so this world, you know, there's this demon thing, and it fought off to thing, uh, fought off the dragons, and and then the, this dragon made a a ball thing of all magic right and whatever. And then eventually, you know, at the end of the video or the movie, you know, it's all about trust and uh, how to fight the demons. But uh, that's all I'm gonna tell you. I didn't tell you really anything about it, but. The main theme of the thing my head feel thick. is that you have to trust people. And I thought it was really interesting because, you know, especially nowadays, it's really hard to trust people. That That is for sure. So, if you want a good little movie to watch, it's two hours long. It's on Disney+. Plus. Raya and the Last Dragon. Ah, boy, howdy. But anyway, like I said, it is Sunday. It is the... 20th of June, June 20th, and just been, you know, just been working away. Like, I just recorded a uh, Fish North Atlantic video, and um, didn't, too, didn't do too well on that video, let me tell you, and uh, the reason why is, is that uh, <sighs> I only had 10 pots out, you know, and it just... You know, the crab wasn't there. I mean, they all they all ran away. But, uh, you know, if you haven't watched the video, go back out and check it out. Just because... They did update the, the game. I almost said the long dark, and I'm playing the long dark. But uh, they did update the game. Uh, I don't... Like, they, they were talking about the clouds and stuff like that. I don't necessarily understand what they updated about it because it looks pretty much the same but uh you know the water is still terrible but apparently they fixed the, the ripples in the water and stuff like that so i mean i guess if they keep working on it then it's going to get better but uh anyway so it just got done with that got to go back over to my parents house pick up my ice chest and a few other things that i forgot to grab yesterday and um uh, but yeah, I mean that's that's basically about it, you know. Um, I got three days off. Got to record stuff for you guys, and uh, pretty much that's my life in a nutshell. Not too much going on. I mean, which is good because uh, I'd rather be, I guess, what you could say, available than uh, running like a chicken with my head cut off trying to figure out what the hell to do. So. Not going to complain in the slightest. In the slightest. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic weekend. Even though when you see this, it'll probably be Thursday. So hopefully you guys are having a good week. I actually have to go in to uh, the DMV and uh, get or take a test for my tanker endorsement. And uh, basically what that is, is the United States has a very interesting uh, license DMV deal. And what I mean by that is everything that you drive. So, like, I have a, a just a Class A CDL. And uh, I think in, like, Manitoba, Canada, it's a Class 1 and stuff like that. And I only know that because I watch a, uh, a guy named Trucker Josh Vlogs there up in Canada. And he's out of uh, Winnipeg. But anyway, so it's very interesting because 
so like I said, I have a Class A CDL, which means I can drive practically anything on the road. Now, not everything, but like semi-wise. I can drive semis, 53-foot trailer, up to, I think the max weight you can go is like 105,000 pounds without going over uh, overweight or oversized load. Son of a bitch, really? Dude, I just got here. Oh. So I'm going to have to reload this. Uh, we don't have any wood that I, I believe, so hopefully... That there we go. Handy. How much wood... Oh, how much wood do we got? We got two fur logs. Or cedar wood or whatever. Oh, he's coming back for more. But yeah, so because I have a CDLA, until you have like over oversized loads and stuff like that, over width, stuff like that, um, I can haul anything up to 105,500 pounds, which in kilograms, I have no idea how much that is. So might have to look that up. Uh, but anyway, um, I, you know, like I said, I can drive pretty much anything on the road. Um, and then... Uh, to haul doubles and triples, like here in or Oregon, you can haul three trailers um, commercially, and then in California, because of the laws, you can only haul two, and so on and so forth. Uh, you, to to haul that, you have to have what they call an endorsement of doubles and triples, and then as soon as you get um, that, you know, then you can do whatever the hell you want. Well, also, oh, and also, if you if you guys want to know how to get to Blake Inlet, see that, like, pointy tr triangle mountain there? There's a cave somewhere in that general area, and that's how you get there. But anyway, um, so, it, so, because I have to get a tanker endorsement, my job requires me to, um, haul a tanker. So, like, how you get gas or diesel, fuel, whatever, the tanker trucks... That is what having a tanker would be. So because I had, or because we haul tanker, like there's only one tanker truck, but because I have to get it in order to drive legally, I have to get my tanker endorsement. And uh, you know, it's like a 20 question test, so on and so forth. Now you may ask, why didn't I do this earlier? Getting kind of thirsty. I thought I was going to be driving cross country all day. Or all, all my life. So I never thought about it, you know. Why spend the money if I didn't have to get it? Well, now that I have to have it, I have to, get, I have to go in and get it. But because of the whole corona BS, there's two, three... Holy shit. That's, is that five wolves right there? That's five wolves right there. Holy macaroni. So that's new. They never used to pack up like that. Oh, I hit him, too. Uh, but anyway, so, and then there's, like, hazmat. So to haul fuel, to haul explosives, to haul uh, basically anything that can, you know, corrode, uh, explode, disintegrate, anything like that. Like, even paint, you know. Uh, like me, right now, I can haul up to 1,000 pounds, but I can't haul anything above 1,000 pounds. So if it was a thousand and one pounds of paint, hazmat fuel, whatever, I have to have a, a hazmat endorsement. In which, when you get the hazmat, then you have to go in, and get your fingertips or fingerprints, and your background checked, and the whole whole twenty yards. Make sure you're not going to go out and you know kill somebody and blow people up, you know whatever. And uh, and then there's. Uh, what else is there? Then there's like, if you want to drive a bus, you have to get a passenger endorsement. Um, what else is there? I mean, there's there's literally a long, long list of things. Also, if you want to know what that little thing is, that's a radio tower. There's also one right there. But because we're kind of running out of time now, we're just going to get inside this little train car. Which is about halfway through Forlorn Muskeg. There's nothing else here. 
But as soon as that rock right there, that's where Mystery Lake is, is and that is where we're going. But we have to warm up, or else we ain't going to make it. And we'll pick up the jeans. Too bad, like, sadly, you can't burn the jeans, because that would be pretty lovely to do. And let's start a foyer. There we go. It won't take too much, but it'll pretty much make it 100%. And we'll just... I mean, we don't need two of them, but we'll just use two of them at the moment. There we go. Should have enough, and because we are here, we might as well get some water. Then that is all we can do. I don't know how many we can actually do at once. There's no cooking slots available, so we might only be able to do two. So we have two and a half hours, so now we can just pass time. Pass time until it's potable. Let's just drink it because uh, we're already thirsty. Straight off the fire, you know, nice and nice and hot. And then we'll drink this one too. Now water is the heaviest thing in the game, you know, because you can you can carry a lot of it, and it's so damn heavy, you know. Let's pick that up and pick that up. So it's gonna be freezing, but. I'm just going to get going. You know, you could take a torch from it and all that fun stuff. But uh, because we're kind of in a hurry, we're just going to keep on and moving. We will come back here to Forlorn Muskeg once we are, you know, ready. Uh, like, get... As soon as we find a hatchet, we'll be coming back to make bows and arrows and stuff like that. We have to do... Their, well, it's windy now, so it's probably not anything here. And let's see actually how cold it is. It feels like negative three. So it's pretty cool, not gonna lie. But yeah, but like you know, so the, these licenses, you know, you can you can have all the stats a bear. That's a bear. He will follow you. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna give him a very very wide berth. He won't necessarily chase you. Uh, you have to be pretty close to him to chase you. But what he will do is he will turn like he is now and follow you. But he won't chase you unless, you know, you, you piss him off enough to chase you. And then he will kill you. He will make you go down to about, if I had to guess, about 10% of health. And then if you're not close enough and you, can't, and you don't have bandages and lots of food and everything else, you're going to die. And uh, yeah, that I have I've died many times from from bears. Well, I think I've died once from a moose. Wolves died a ton of them, ton of times. You know, even though the wolves are easy to kill and everything else, it you die a lot. But I also got a comment like a while ago. It's been uh, probably a good month. Um, um, and someone said one of the I think I guess subscribers or anyway, it was just a comment. They commented that said uh, they really liked when I talked about my, the holidays that uh, United States or America, USA, whatever you want to call us, uh, what we celebrate. And actually today, February, or not February, it's June, if anything, uh, June 20th, and today is actually Father's Day. So basically what Father's Day is is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, we, we celebrate uh, Father's Day. So anybody that's a father, uh, like my brother, uh, my dad, grandpa, so on and so forth, um, you know, it's Father's Day. So it's just like Mother's Day, we have Mother's Day. That was May 9th, I think it was. Um, but yeah, I mean, we just, we just celebrate them. I mean, that's that, that's about all we do. I don't really know why it's a holiday. I mean, but we d we just celebrate it. So, what? There was two here a second ago. Simple tools. Might as well it pick that up. Useful. You never know when we'll need that. Now, this is Mystery Lake. This is where we're going to be hiding out for a while because uh, this is normally where all the good stuff is. Uh, I know this map pretty well. Uh, actually, 
you can go this way to get to the, the trapper's cabin. That's normally where the rifle is. But uh, because we're here, we're not too terribly far away from the, uh, the, the home office. No, camp office. That's where it is, the camp office. And so what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to run down to the camp office. And pretty much that's where we're going to end the episode. But we're going to come down here to the camp office. And this is where we are going to make um, our main base. Why do I do it here? Well, if you remember the map in the last episode at the very beginning when we chose to start random, we... Uh, Mystery Lake is almost smack dab in the middle. You know, you can get almost anywhere in about a day or two travel. And so on and so forth. And Camp Off is, is pretty much the closest as you're going to get to the middle of Mystery Lake. So the Camp Off is basically the middle of the world. And with that being said, we're going to go in there, get water, get everything all set up. There's a wolf right there. And uh, as soon as we get that all set up, you know, then we can start actually killing the wolves, get some... Oh, there's a second wolf. There's deer. Oh, hit him too. But yeah, as soon as we get this one set up, we'll make a ton of water, as much water as we can. Then we'll try to find the rifle, start getting some meat going. Uh, you know, and basically just start trying to, you know, live su successfully. Um, now what's really hard about it is, is that, you know, you have to have food, but, you know, if you kill two deer, the meat goes bad super quickly in this game. Uh, basically what you do is you keep it on the bone as long as you can, and then about three days later you cut it off the bone or, or harvest it, or whatever you want to call it, and then after that, you, th you throw it outside. So as immediately after you harvest it, uh, then you throw it outside. On the, on the snow, and then it lasts pretty long time. Um, probably another dead person right there. Probably, you know, about another three, four days. So you get about a week of it being good. And then as soon as you cook it, it goes up, you know, to another... Oh, there's always a soda right there. It goes up to so like a 50%. It goes up to about 90 or so. And then you can leave it to uh, sit anywhere you want it. And then, you know, it, it works like that. But it will eventually, you know, go down. But uh, the lantern will be a fantastic thing. I'm going to leave that there on the floor. And then eventually, as soon as we get more stuff and as soon as we get more uh, everything going on, we will slowly start... There's another watch down there. We'll slowly start putting stuff where we can find it. Which is honestly the uh, hardest part about the ki this game is organization. Especially me, because I'm not organized in the slightest. You know, my brain is uh, scattered. Everything's scattered. So, uh, yeah, that's my life right there. Here, let's see what else. Another spray can. There's some tomato soup back there. Oh, and you also really want to watch out for... Uh, um, okay, I'll just show you because I can't remember. So the percentages here, I'll, I'll use my mouse here. 76%, that's fine. 32% is is getting there. I mean, uh, the peaches is the peaches are really bad at this, but as soon as it hits about 30, I don't need it. I throw it out. Why do I do that? Because you get sick and you die. Well, you don't necessarily die, but it, you have to sit in the house for 10 hours or rest for 10 hours. I can't remember exactly what it is. Uh, and you get food poisoning, and it, it's just absolutely terrible. So because of all that, you know, I just try not to do it. There's a pot there that'll come in good handy. We'll read that in a little bit. And then painkillers, book, ketchup, chips. Never heard of ketchup chips, but apparently it's a Canadian thing. I don't know. We can ask Mr. Allen if he ever had ketchup chips. Hey, Allen, you ever had ketchup chips? And then, uh, you know, he'll, he'll write me or comment or something. 
Anyway, let's see what this is. Bensi. Bensi and I came up this way in the summers when we were knock, knock need goofy kids. Never heard of that saying. We fished and played with swords made out of sticks. Wove leakly, leaky baskets from the, the reeds. You could row across the lake, those little cabins at the far end where the tourists come and fished, hunted the deer and their parties. We stood behind the counter and watched Dad welcome them, looked at the guest book, and read, it, read the names. When the summer was nearing its end and the cattails turned to fluff, we blew our wishes into the sky, always come back. Always. Oh, always to come back, always. Well, I don't think you want to come back anymore. Because there's nothing here. Except the frozen wasteland. But anyway, with that being said, Basically, we made it to the camp offices. This is where we're going to be hanging out for quite a while. I'm not going to lie. We're at 75 pounds out of 66 pounds, but we're kind of tired, so that's probably why. We did travel a quite a long ways, but anyway, that's going to do it for me. I think I'm going to hit the hay as well, even though it's about noon. Got to get ready, go over to my parents' house again and, and whatnot. But anyway, thank you guys so very much for almost 300 subscribers. If I had to guess, we'll hit it about this week, hopefully this week and uh but anyway thank you all so much for that it does truly mean a lot that you guys uh are uh, watching the channel and subscribing commenting supporting me everything else and uh but uh, yeah thank you for everything that you guys do i'll see you in the next one and y'all take care